Yes, oh. you can say them now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I just wanted to briefly talk about how wonderful uh, Ryan and I truly love Mrs. Miller. Um, I'm a former fourth grade teacher, so I know how rewarding but how demanding teaching can be. And Ryan initially went to Garrity. And when they closed Coventry, she had to go to Oxford. Initially, I was disappointed. But of many reasons why I love Oxford, Mrs. Miller is the number one reason why we love Oxford. She is an individual who is inclusive of every detail that a teacher, a well-seasoned, knowledgeable, caring, and gentle teacher possess. And we just absolutely love you. And did a wonderful job. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> this is Ryan. Thank you very much. Oh, you have some words you'd like to share with us? Yes, in order to stay focused. That's a that's a mainstay word in my classroom. <laughs> I have a little speech. It's a short. <laughs> and I'm and I'm within three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. And especially I thank Ryan and Mrs. Williams for all of their support. And uh, Ryan is just a wonderful little girl, and she continues to excel. And I'm like the mother hen. Once they leave me, I'm always, how's he doing? How's she doing? I want to know. You know, tell me about this. How are you doing? How's your math? So I mean, I really try to watch my kids as they move through the ranks. I've been a teacher for over 30 plus years, and most of them done in this school district. And I continue to enjoy both the challenges and the rewards of teaching. Teachers have the opportunity to impact the minds and hearts of children more than any other profession. And I take my job quite seriously. I feel responsible for my students' academic and social progress. I want to continue to make a difference in their lives. Thus, throughout my long and successful teaching career, I have made a passion for teaching and learning. I have been the recipient of several awards. The Martha Holden Jennings Scholar, Who's Who in American Teachers, four times. And It Takes a Village, Dance Africa Dance, Greater Cleveland Educator. And the CHUH PTA Council Educator of the Year. My success as a teacher is primarily based and attributed to my students' learning and achievement and my efforts energy and enjoyment in making it happen for them. It has long been my philosophy that I teach the children in my classroom like they are my own children. Monica and Scott, now they're grown now. That's what I did then and I do today. I teach like my own granddaughter, Lauren, is sitting in my classroom. I have high expectations for my students and for myself. I try to create a classroom that is inviting, engaging, and challenging. It is very important that I relate to my students in a very informal way, where they feel comfortable enough to share their concerns and their problems with me. It is equally important that I know their strengths and their weaknesses and work to build confidence in them in a very positive way. There is nothing more gratifying and rewarding than to see a child's face light up when they can read a word or figure out a solution to a math problem. I try to motivate my students to become independent thinkers and learners and to assume responsibility for their own learning and social skills. It is also rewarding when former students come back to visit the classroom, and when I have the pleasure and privilege of teaching my former students' children. That, to me, is awesome. I have a mighty mind and what? And a heart that's kind. <laughs> my first graders learned this on day one. That's our motto. We repeat it every single day. I have a mighty mind and a heart that's kind. And I believe they have a mighty mind 
and a heart that's kind. And I try to instill in them to believe it and to apply it. In conclusion, as a lifelong learner, and I'll say a real lifelong learner, <laughs> I would like to share my favorite quote, and it's anonymous. Learn today as if you were to live forever, and live today as if you were to die tomorrow. Thank you very much. middle school representative is Ann Weiss, parent of Trent, who was on the champions team last year at Roxborough Middle School. Members of the team were, and I know I am really going to mess this name up. I'm going to try. Z Zarahia Bergen? So, okay. <laughs> Ms. Bergen, Marcy Beggs, Denise Lewis, Leah Racky Litton, Eric Weinhurst, and Maria Woods. Will Ann and a member of the team join me at the podium? And more than one member can come as well, if you like. Share your stories with us. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm uh, the mother of a charming, clever, and resolutely underachieving young man. And by the time I got to eighth grade, I was really tired of middle school. Um, and, you know, thought, oh, God, another year of this. And yeah, it was another year of that. But what I found in eighth grade uh, in the champions team was a true team of teachers um, who really had my son's number who responded to my emails and my phone calls because I really I work a lot of hours and I always felt like I can't make it in I can't you know I can't be there um, a little shaky talking about my son so. <laughs> um, and I really was just gratified to know I wasn't doing it on my own that as much as I went through the endless you know black hole of a backpack and the oh it was already turned in the no we don't have any homework and I don't know what the assignment is um, you know there were people watching his back and my back and I you know it really really was important to me um, that culminated in the last parent teacher conferences which were supposed to be one on ones that dreadful where you have to run from room to room and you have about two and a half minutes to get your time in before, you know, that sort of thing. Where Ms. Beggs very nicely arranged it so that we would just have a full kind of everybody at once discussion at the very end of the night so that we, I'd have a little more time with the teachers. Um, and Trent and his stepfather came. And it was really illuminating because these very experienced teachers not only commented on his academic progress or lack thereof or whatever. Um, but they also said, look, there's some behaviors we've been watching and we don't like, and we know you're better than this, and this has been our experience, and this is what we expect from you, and this is where we think you can change, and we love you. <laughs> yeah, <I'll let> <laughs> yeah. Um, and he had to sit, he sat there and listened and didn't throw anything, and, you know. Um, and I thought, this is great. This is my village. This is my son knowing that people care about him, also knowing that he can't just sort of joke his way through everything. Um, so I thank the Champions team again. <laughs>